Well, students, welcome to my channel, Sun Academy. Today we are going to start a new chapter in this lecture of interpolation, extrapolation, and statistics. Now, what is interpolation and extrapolation? We will see. <coughs> Formally, you would have been definitely learned a chapter linear regression. <clears throat> now, in that chapter, we had been given a data. One variable was independent and other was dependent. How? As we can see that sales profit. So, sales is an independent variable and profit is a dependent variable because profit is dependent on sales. While in others way <coughs> advertisement expense sales. So, here sales become dependent and advertisement is independent variable because how much amount you are going to spend on advertisement so much you are going to get sales so here that became the dependent variable while <coughs> number of workers and sale so here sale again is a dependent variable in linear regression, we learnt <coughs> that there is a line between dependent and independent variable. By finding that, we could find if sale is so, how much will be the profit or if we want such amount of profit, then what should be the amount of sales but in <coughs> interpolation and extrapolation to find this thing is little different as suppose now what is first we see interpolation and what is extrapolation here some figures are given of sales now here we have been said that when sale will be 60 what would be the profit so this is extrapolation because we have to find figure from the data given to us of out of that data but if it has been said when sales is 35 what would be the profit so this is called interpolation because we have to <coughs> find the profit the data which is given to us there are three methods newton's method binomial expansion and lagrange method Newton's and binomial expansion method is used when there is an equal distance in x but if the distance isn't equal in the column of x then we have to use Lagrange method or we can say that Lagrange method can be used if distance is unequal or equal but binomial and Newton's method can be used only when there is an equal distance between the values of x. 
now in the next lecture we will understand the formulas of all threes and will start a sum so if you want to continue learn this chapter follow me share the link of my channel to others also don't be selfish because sharing is caring